REI, the Woke Sports Recreation Outdoor Realtor, is closing its doors in Portland, along with Walmart in Portland, in Chicago, along with all the people that are leaving San Francisco because it's impossible to run a business there when you basically make shoplifting legal by failing to enforce the laws on the books. Oh my goodness, we must take care of these oppressed people. We must allow them to steal, which was proposed in Seattle, that it be made codified into law that stealing was legal. Fortunately, I mean, somehow, and even in this leftist city, that didn't pass. Maybe that'll happen a few years from now if we can continue on this trend as Chicago elects Brandon Johnson, who's further to the left of Lori Lightfoot, who would not condemn the rioters because they are disadvantaged and they are without opportunity. And yet you want to, according to Brandon Johnson, the mayor of Chicago, you want to tax the businesses there even more and you blame them for not paying enough in. Despite the fact that Walmart was losing millions upon millions of dollars with their four Chicago locations, that against they announced that they were gonna shut down, and you still want to take more tax dollars out of them. You really want to deprive your citizens of opportunity. And by not condemning these actions, of course, you're only encouraging more of them, which will drive sane people out like Walmart, like these other retailers. You have in Portland, woke pizza places shutting down. You have Starbucks shutting down. In San Francisco, Whole Foods decided that it was not safe for their employees to keep their mission district, I believe, Morning. flagship shop open. They closed after one year. Too bad for all the San Franciscans that now have to travel further to steal healthy food. We're very sorry for making it difficult for you. Everything that we're woke goes it destroys, it is a cancer, it is malignant. And then they make you feel like you are morally incorrect for standing up to their agenda, where they want to abolish merit, where they do not want to grade children with an F if they deserve it. Pushing like to eliminate sort of the standardization of our public schools, to be quite frank with you, I didn't issue a lot of homework for students. Um, that was my own way of sort of rebelling against the structure. Um, I, I don't think I ever gave a kid an F. The teachers, like Brandon Johnson, are directly responsible for the well below grade level or inability to even read and certainly math skills of these children. And yet you want to talk to us about not giving them opportunity. What about the opportunity to educate themselves? What about two parent families? Is that so hard to ask? Instead, you incentivize single parent families via the welfare programs, telling women that they're going to take care of. Black Lives Matter on their own website before it became publicly known, stated that we believe in the disruption of the Western prescribed nuclear family structure. These are the people that you are promoting and giving money to, and you wonder why property values in the city are falling, why businesses are going to shut down. But my main point here is good. If you are woke, if you are encouraging this, then you are funding your own demise. When you want to say, it's okay for people to shoplift and then don't realize that it's going to come to you, to stores that maybe you won't stock in, to your own mom and pop retailer, and then when they close down, the locals complain that they are unable to procure the items needed without traveling great distances. When you codify into law that you, or tell people that you are not going to enforce shoplifting laws, the freedom to just take whatever is not theirs that they didn't work for for free, and then you call them racist when they put them behind locked glass, because in order to maintain a store, you have to be able to produce or at least break even. Walmart lost millions of dollars per store every single year and finally they said enough is enough people are going to leave cities why are you still in cities everybody how can you stay in san francisco in chicago los angeles i left at the end of 2017 we made that decision when you see the homeless springing up like weeds when my wife is walking down the street 
pushing a baby stroller, and a man walks by her with her, his hands down, his pants muttering, and other people from across the street are yelling, bit at her. That is not a place that I want to, to say. So we left, and now we don't even live in America any longer due to a variety of factors that came into play. But this was certainly part of it. The decision not to go back to America where all this was unfolding is a direct consequence to the social destruction, to how people are no longer treating others well, to the increased vile racism that comes from the left that far outweighs that which is on the right. So when I hear that REI in Portland is closing, I don't shed a tear because this woke corporation brought it upon themselves. All those people that funded Black Lives Matter brought this to the forefront and exacerbated the circumstances to which their stores would have to close. When Walmart leaves the area, I don't cry. I merely implore all of you who still live in these blue cities to vacate because they are going to get worse before they get better. That's just the reality. I'm not mad at y'all. I'm trying to warn you of what's coming down the piper. Leave like we did. They are going to increase taxes upon you to pay for their welfare programs, to pay for their diversity, inclusion, and equity, D-I-E, which is exactly what is happening to these cities. They are being hollowed out and the commercial properties that used to be rented for office space, who's going to want to stay there? Why do you think that there's a commercial real estate crisis on the near horizon and this is going to impact the local banks that give the loans for these things? Who's going to want to buy these properties except at a steep discount, which maybe if you're looking in the long game is the ultimate plan of those who are imposing these nefarious laws and practices upon its citizens. But how can you continue to tell me that the Democrats are the moral crowd as everything that they touch is destroyed? There's no morality in that. There is destruction and evil cloaked under the guise of morality. They claim that they're moral and make you see them in such a manner. But when you see the results of their plans and their nefarious enactments, well, just imagine being a store owner and people legally being able to go into your shop and take whatever they want. And if you protect yourself, well, the local DA, they'll come down on you. Leave the blue cities of America to their own self-destruction and immolation based upon the premises of these blue politicians.